Lesson 5-4B, Solving Systems Using Linear Combinations, Part 2. Now we're going to take a look at a system that has three equations and three different variables in it. All right, here are the three equations. Here they are. Equation A, Equation B, Equation C. Lots of algebraic information here. We want to solve and find the single x, y, and z that will work in all three of these or satisfy all three of these conditions. Well, what we're going to do is pick any two. I'm going to start with equation A and equation B. And I'm going to rearrange these algebraically and find a way to get rid of one of the variables. And in this case, I think it's going to be the z. Because if I just multiply, if I take equation A and B, and I multiply equation A through by a positive 4, then when I add these two equations, the z's will drop out. So, let me go ahead and multiply equation A the whole way through by positive 4, and let's see what that will look like. To get rid of the z, I multiply both sides of equation A by 4. And I get 8x plus 12y plus 4z equals 52. So that was just straight distributive property and then multiplication right here. All right, so now we have a new equation A. Now directly underneath that, we're going to put equation B. Again, the purpose is to get the z to algebraically remove. Okay, so if I now add this new set of equations here, I will get 13x plus 10y is equal to 59. All right, so now here we have an equation in two variables. Now I'm going to go back up to the original system and I'm going to pick two other equations. At first I used A and B. I think the next thing I'm going to use is A and C. And I'm going to get another equation in just two variables. So then I'll have two equations in two variables and I'll go ahead and I'll use that, those two equations, to solve for one. I know it sounds a bit complicated, but here our goal is to get two equations in two variables. I've got the first one right here. So now I'm going to take A and C and work with those two. Okay, well, let's see here. Once again, I think I'll try and get rid of the Z. Here we have 1Z, here we have 3Z. If I multiply through here by negative 3 and then add a to C, the Z's will drop out and I'll have another, yet another equation in two variables. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, we'll put a little dotted line here and we will take equation A and we will multiply through by negative 3. So it'll be negative 3 times 2x plus 3y plus Z is equal to 13 times negative 3. All right, so we're multiplying by negative 3 on both sides of that equation. All right, now distributing the negative 3 is going to give me negative 6x plus negative 9y plus negative 3z is equal to negative 39. All right. So now we have an altered equation A and directly underneath that we will rewrite equation C again. We'll bring this down here, put it underneath. So that'll be 4x plus 5y plus positive 3z is equal to 20. Okay, now here then is our second set 
of equations and notice what's going to happen when we multiply or not when we add these together those guys will add to zero and we will get negative 2x plus negative 4y is equal to negative 14 so here was the first equation in two variables and now here is the second equation in two variables. Now we're going to take these two that we created, algebraically we created these two equations in two variables. Now we're going to put those two together into a little system and we will solve 